Okay, so moving on to the newer albums. This is an album by Ratatat called LP4. Okay, I'm really going to harp on N is equal to self, N plus 1 is equal to galaxy, and N plus 2 is equal to universe, because this is a really easy album to understand that on, okay? Because N, or self here, is equal to birds, okay? Every bird is a god of bird, and there are 11 birds, okay? Now... They have certain amount of visible black holes, and the black holes consist of the eyes, the mouths, and the nostrils. Okay? Mouths, noses, and eyes. Sorry, it's hard to talk and do this sometimes. So when you count the black holes, and then you also count the appendages, because birds have wings and feet and tails. Okay? Some of the tails look like a one, some of them look like a two. So, you count the feet, you count the wings, you count the toes, okay? All the appendages, you know, so they're like fingers and toes and hands and feet, guys. Okay? And rat -a tat okay? Look at that universe right there in the darkness. Because someone had to fill in this universe. This, this paper was white, and they had to color it all in with black. So that took effort and ink. So this is a, like, th that's why I don't count the perches, because the perches don't count as perches, because they're just part of the blackness. The only thing depicted, other than this, are the universes of bird, and I'm going to break that down for you. So, first, the universe of Ratatat is comprised of three different galaxies, an R, an A, and a T, where there's a trinity of A's and a trinity of T's. And the T's look like nails that crucified Christ, okay? So... Ratatat, those are what they are in letters of the alphabet, because we know a zero is a one, it reduces to that, and because one and two one is equal to four, we have nine four four four, or nine twelve, read backwards, it's two one nine, two ones is a nine eleven, okay, backwards, okay, now, this is important, there are n birds, n is equal to eleven birds, each bird has the following number of black holes. They have 12 eyes, 11 beaks, and 18 nostrils that I can see. Okay, we're not going to go through it. Like, tw okay, 12 eyes is pretty easy. Okay, the only one with two eyes is this guy. Okay, so there's 11 birds, 12 eyes, 11 beaks because, you know, it's hard to hide a beak, and 18 nostrils. Uh, just trust me on that. It's really hard and shaky, and you don't want to watch that. So... When you add up the total number of black holes, you get 41. So the galaxies are equal to 41, and the selves are equal to 11. If you look at these backwards, you get 21, 11, and, you know, 81, which is equal to 9. 9, 11, 2, 1 is 9, 11, okay? Now, if you count up the appendages, they have 14 wings, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 12 feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And each one of them have two fingers, or two digits. Okay? And 19 tail feathers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so if you look at the universes and you add them all up together, 14 plus 12 plus 24 plus 19 is 69. 69 is a very important number because it depicts yin and yang. It depicts balance because creation always wants to be balanced, guys. Okay, and that's equal to that because it's equal to a 6 and it's equal to a 9. Okay. So if you look at them backwards, you have 41 wings, and four ones is, you know, 11, 11. You have 36 feet and toes total. Look at it backwards, it's six threes. Six threes, guys! A three, three, three is a nine, and a three, three, three is a nine. Nine, eleven, nine, eleven. And 19 tail feathers, and we know that one plus nine, or nine, or, you know, nine plus one is equal to ten. Okay? A zero is a one, so that's your eleven. Okay? Isn't that wild? I did one further because I do a lot of work in Fibonacci. You might not want to go this far with your decoding, but I'm going to go this far. Because I understand that n is equal to n plus 1, and n is equal to n plus 2, and n plus 1 is equal to n plus 2. So I did the math here just to prove it to you using Fibonacci. So n plus 1 is equal to n. 
41 is equal to 11. Okay? Subtract 11 from both sides, you have 30 is equal to 0. Now, because we know a 0 is a 1, and the 1 is depicted as two, one dim two zero dimensional singularities and one one dimensional line, read it backwards, it's 2, 1, which is a 3. So 30 is 33 and 0 is 3. Div divide by 3, you get 11 is equal to 1, or 2 is equal to 1, which is true in terms of Fibonacci. Okay? Now, again, n plus 2 is equal to n plus 1, so... 69 is equal to 41, okay? Subtract 41 from both sides, you get 28 is equal to 0, or 28 is equal to 3, or 10 is equal to 3, or 13 is equal to 3, okay? Or 1 and 3 is 4 is equal to 3, or, you know, it would be 3 and 1, which is equal to 4, which is 3, which is correct in Fibonacci once again. Now, n plus 2 is equal to n, so 69 is equal to 11, Minus 11 from both sides is 58 is equal to 0. 58 is equal to 3. 5 and 8 is 13 is equal to 3. You know, or 8 and 5 is equal to 13. And then 3 and 1 is equal to 4, which is equal to 3, which is correct in terms of Fibonacci. Okay? So there's a lot more stuff in this album that's a gatefold, okay? Like there's, you know, some more birds to decode. Okay, again, the left hand of God, the right hand of God. Okay? I don't want to get into that. Okay? What do they have to say? LP4, let your bird eat its beak. I'm sure if I Gematria calculated that, it would mean something ridiculous. And I'm sure that this is a universe, and this is a universe, because it was depicted this way, makes sense. Just as though there's a 3-4-5 triangle between LP4, I believe that's quite significant. Okay? And look at this, guys. What do you know about Roman numerals? XL records? 2X is making L, guys. Why did they put it twice? Why on earth did they put it twice? Why in earth did they put it twice, guys? So the next album I'm going to decode for all you guys that like new music is Daft Punk Random Access Memories. Look, guys. Division of the Cross. Okay? Left hand of God, right hand of God. Gold is worth more than silver. So why is gold on the left hand the bad side? It should be flipped, guys. Everything is backwards. Look. First quadrant, second, like, as a clock. First quadrant, three, six, nine, twelve, guys. First, second, third, fourth quadrant. We're going to break down the cross because of this album. And look what's in the nine. You make a nine here. You make a six here. You make a P here. And you make a D here. Anyways, dog's going nuts. Sawyer, stop! Daft Punk Random Access Memory. Stop! D-P-R-A-M. Devil, Pope, Right Ascension Meridian. Okay? R-A-M. <laughs> Are you done? Okay. R-A-M. Is the 18th letter of the alphabet the first letter of the 13th letter? Look, it's a 9, 11, and it's also, you know, 13 is 4. <laughs> okay? 4 9 11s, guys. 4 9 11s. So again... Why is gold on the left and silver on the right? Doesn't make sense. So four nine elevens is important because you have a nine one one. Because remember, you can write a one with a dot and a dot. But if you don't want to draw the dots, it wants to be infinite. So that's a one, okay. And if you look at the one differently, it's a loop going over itself to here, over the page and under the page, okay. See what I'm saying, guys? If you're looking at it from here, and if you're looking from here. It'll look like that, so a 0 is equal to a 1, okay? 9, 1, 1, 9, 1, 1, upside down, 9, 1, 1, 9, 1, 1, okay? Now, look at the cross again. So, I'm going to start with the 9, so the 4th quadrant makes a 9. 9 plus the 4th quadrant equals 13. 13 is M, okay? That's the 13th letter of the alphabet. Two M's make a V with a bar on top because of the dimensions of unity. Remember these? Go look at my old videos if you want to remember those. So again, M is a thousand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is equal to five, six, seven, eight, guys. Now check it out. 13 is half of God because God is 26. N is equal to 26. Interesting, huh? Let's go to the first quadrant now. So P is the 16th. So P is the 16th letter of the alphabet in the first quadrant. So 16 plus the first quadrant is 17, which is Q. Okay? 
1 and 7 is 8. H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. Now these kind of tie in together. So down here we have a 6. Now you might say it's a lowercase b. But if I wanted to pick balance, this will be a letter. This will be a letter. This will be a number. And this will be a number. So I understand this is a b. It's in the second quadrant. So this can mean second quadrant as well as the lowercase b. And 6 is because it depicts the 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So they both equal 8, which is h. Two h's together, because an h is an 8, and 8 depicted as a fly speck creates the cross, which I've talked about numerous times. Now, two h's make the x. Two of these would have an intersecting dot and a dot and a dot. Five zero-dimensional singularities, four one-dimensional lines, nine. Nine is the V dimension of unity. Jimi Hendrix, if six was nine, guys. Now let's do the last quadrant, the third quadrant. It makes a lowercase d, which is the fourth letter of the alphabet. Four and the third quadrant is seven. Seven is the, num is the letter G, okay? Now G is equal to capital D because D in Roman numerals is equal to 500, which equals to 511, which equals to seven. So it shows that G is equal to D, Okay, G and D are 14, okay? 14 is N in our alphabet. So N is 14, or N plus two is 28, because N is God, and then you have G, I, D, Gid, and then you have God, or Gid, with a big D. Anyways, it's half of the alpha and the omega. Alpha and the omega, okay? Anyways, I hope you understand. Look what's on the inside, guys. An upside-down keyboard with black and white keys. It's upside down for a reason, guys. Track list. So the last album I'm going to decode is Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood, Sex, uh, Blood Sugar, Sex, Magic, okay? Red, Blood, Hot Sugar, Chili, Sex, Peppers, Magic. Okay, why is magic spelt that way? I'm not going to go into the words, but these are bad. Sugar is worse than cocaine, guys. So what do you see here? I see a bunch of black holes. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 black holes. I also see 5 dots creating an X. Okay? You see that, guys? So, red hot chili peppers. Okay, right hand Christ Pope. Yeah, that's interesting. And B system, Southern Meridian. Sure. So, 3 black holes times 4 is 12. If you look at it backwards, it's two ones, two elevens. You know, two ones is an eleven, guys. Five zero-dimensional dots, roses that make an X. Okay, X is four five. There's your nine eleven. Okay, that's the nine eleven. Now, the reverse side of this album is amazing. Hand of God, guys. The right hand of God. Okay. Please focus. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. He's doing a nine, guys. There's your nine. Okay? What's depicted here? Well, what I see here on this tattoo, because there's no, there's nothing depicting a, a segment. So these are infinite lines. What happens when you cross four infinite lines? You create a singularity. So again, the right hand of God of man says nine. His tattoo is four one-dimensional lines and one zeroth dimensional dot. Again, reading it properly in dots and lines four ones guys 911911 9, so i'm i know i'm high energy okay i know i'm high energy i hope you guys enjoy these videos i hope you guys see dimensions of unity more now the difference between dots and lines peace